Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So there's news out, ladies and gentlemen, that Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao will be returning back to the ring sometime in April of 2018. According to Bob Arum, and I quote, we are going to find him a date in April. And then he goes on to say that Manny doesn't want to fight in an undercard and he wants an interesting fight. When he returns now, I guess that there was talks that would possibly put Manny Pacquiao on the undercard of Jeff Horn versus turns Bud Crawford if that goes down. But ain't no telling when that may even happen, you know, because Jeff Horn has about nine to 12 months before he really has to make a defense of his title. So he can, you know, milk that thing out, man. Um Manny Pacquiao is going to come back in April. According to them, this is when he'll have a break in his work schedule and his busy work schedule in the Philippines. And this is a great opportunity, man. Now, according to this article on Boxing Scene, they're stating that the reason that Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao never had their rematch, which there was a rematch clause in their fight, was the fact that Manny Pacquiao's work schedule got in the way. Well, we all know that ain't true. Manny Pacquiao didn't rematch Jeff Horn because he felt as though he, he couldn't get the fight moved away from Australia. And he felt as though he was robbed in the first fight and he wasn't trying to have that happen again in the second fight. He attempted to get the fight moved to the Philippines, amongst other places, and it was unsuccessful. Because at the end of the day, there wasn't a pot of money bigger, nowhere bigger than, than it was in Australia. Suncorp Stadium, what was he talking, 50,000 people. So you couldn't get no better than that. Now, there was talks of... Manny Pacquiao versus Amir Khan at one time when we thought that Amir, Amir Khan claimed that he had some investors in the Middle East. What was it? Saudi Arabia, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, he was looking to, you know, get some investors. They was going to raise the money and put it up for a Pacquiao fight. But when Bob Arum took a closer look, he said that it was janky, man. The guys not only didn't have the money, but the government was not even involved. And for a fight of that magnitude in the, in the Middle East, the government basically has to be involved. So when that wasn't the case, Bob Aaron basically backed out of that, took Manny Pacquiao down to Australia to take on Jeff Horn, in which he lost, man. Now, you know, hopefully, you know, Manny Pacquiao, from last I heard, is still in denial about that fight. He felt as though he was robbed. And guys like Teddy Atlas spreading all that venom to the fans, you know what I mean? Oh, Manny Pacquiao was robbed, you know, right before he became a top-ranked, you know, stooge or whatnot, man. And everyone knew. I mean, those with a brain and two eyes could see that Manny Pacquiao lost that fight. A lot of people give Manny Pacquiao that fight based off one round, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Clearly, Jeff Horn won that fight, and Manny Pacquiao totally underestimated him, man. But that's the only other opponent that I could see on the immediate horizon that Manny Pacquiao could take that would, you know, give him the level of money he likes to make, and that's Amir Khan. Now, Amir Khan is working out, getting himself back in shape, and last we seen, Amir Khan was working his way all the way back down to welterweight. He's coming back from 160, and he's going down to welterweight, as opposed to my main man, Kel Brook, who's coming from 160 and going to 54. But, uh... You know, Amir Khan is going down to welterweight. He states he wants to fight sometime early in 2018. I believe he said March, or I'm pretty sure he'll move it to April for a Pacquiao fight. Uh, we know the kind of person that Amir Khan is. He likes to go for the stars. He likes to live in the limelight. So, hey, this is the type of fight that he's been wanting for a long time. And he's been chasing Manny Pacquiao for a long time. So, truth be told, given that the Al Heyman crew may be off limits for him, and yeah, I know Amir Khan is affiliated with Al Heyman, that ain't going to stop Amir Khan from making a fight with Manny Pacquiao. So, I don't know, man. Pacquiao was down for it before. If Khan could have came up with the money, I think Pacquiao would have been down for it, man. If 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 the money is still there, man, if Khan still got some so-called investors or whatever he supposedly got, maybe he can make the Pacquiao fight. It's a good opportunity for him, man. So, we'll see, man. We'll see how this thing works out. Oh, a lot of people even whispering about a catchweight fight with Lomachenko. I don't think so. If, I don't think that would be smart on Lomachenko's part. And I just don't see Bob Arum ruining his star right now because clearly – Lomachenko would lose to Manny Pacquiao, in my opinion, you know what I mean? But we'll see how this thing goes. Manny Pacquiao don't want to fight on no undercards. He wants to be taken seriously. He wants a serious opponent. Um, on the horizon right now, I don't see one other than the Jeff Horn turns Crawford winner or either possibly Amir Khan. Other than those two, I don't know where he comes back. Unless Mayweather's talking about coming back and fighting him again, which I heavily doubt, you know what I'm saying? 
I just don't know where Pacquiao will go. Truth be told. But, hey, he's a big money fight. The Heyman boys would love to take him. It's just that they got to get permission from Uncle Al. You know what I'm saying? And if he gives them the green light, I'm sure one of them would love to get Pacquiao in the ring. Because at the end of the day, Pacquiao is still a profitable fighter. So we'll see how it works out. So to the next video, Main Man, Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter. Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Made Man. Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man, Made Man. My main man, Pacquiao, man. My time in boxing is not done yet. You know what I'm saying? That's how he'll tell everybody. So we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, wish nothing but the best for Manny Pacquiao. A lot of people going to say, hey, man, he's done. He should give it up. He should hang it up. But clearly, Manny Pacquiao must have made some mistakes somewhere along the line in his career because for whatever reason, even though his contracts and stuff like that that he was locked into with top rank is up, the man continues to fight. So we'll see. So to the next video. Peace out.